Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the 2019 Acura MDX A-Spec. So the MDX A-Spec adds a new dimension of sporty, aggressive, and youthful appeal to the best-selling three-row luxury SUV of all time. With cumulative sales topping 900,000 units and six consecutive years of over 50,000 units, this MDX A-Spec will help further expand the MDX customer base. A-Spec upgrades include dark chrome and gloss black trim, wider wheels and tires, large exhaust finishers, A-spec red leather accents, a sports steering wheel, and much more. And that's the perfect segue to our main attraction today, the all-new 2019 RDX. Now, the compact SUV segment is one of the largest and most competitive in the industry right now. And there are no, simply no weak players. The outgoing RDX has been a top seller, but the all-new RDX is better in every way. As you'll see, we're delivering virtually everything that we showcased in Detroit with the RDX prototype and then some. This is our most extensive redesign in more than a decade, a truly ground-up reimagining of the RDX around our precision-crafted performance brand direction. So let's take a look at this first in a new generation of Acura products, the 2019 RDX. As you can see, this new RDX and RDX A-Spec deliver on the dramatic new design we showcased with the prototype. Built in America on an all-new Acura exclusive platform, the new RDX sports a powerful new turbocharged engine with a segment-first 10-speed transmission and the return of torque vectoring super handling all-wheel drive. Inside is even more innovation. The super premium cockpit houses next generation Acura features and technologies, including all new Acura sports seats designed for spirited driving and available in class leading 16 power adjustability. A new ultra wide panoramic moonroof standard on all grades that is among the largest and widest in the class. A new ELS Studio 3D sound system with four roof-mounted speakers adds a new dimension in sound from top to bottom. And our revolutionary new Acura True Touchpad interface that creates an intuitive driver-centric 
telematic experience. This is the third generation of RDX, and it's like, and like its predecessor, it's built in Ohio. But it's the first to be designed and developed in America with styling conducted in our Acura studio in California. I asked some members of the design team to share insight into the design of this new RDX lineup. How about let's take a look. This RDX, it's the first time we were able to take a performance stance, a performance feel, a performance interior. I think holistically, it's, it's amazing. It speaks to the soul, I think. Just walking up to the car, you just feel performance and excitement right off the bat. The first thing you see is that it sits better. Literally, this car is lower and wider. The jewel eye is much more thin, which we want to have kind of that sinister look from the front. And then as the fenders and the character line pull your eye all the way to the back, the tail light does the same thing. And then we punctuate it with this dragon tail arrow. We really wanted to push the interior to the next level in both quality, user material, as well as performance aspect. We wanted the customer to feel the authenticity of the material. We really believe that we created a penthouse control center. This RDX sets the table for all the subsequent cars that are coming. As you just heard, everything we talked about in Detroit is a part of the production RDX. The authentic materials, the overall sports cockpit concept, and the all-new true touchpad interface. It's all part of the radical rethinking of the relationship between driver and machine. And it's unlike anything on the road today. Like the RDX itself, this new system is a ground-up clean sheet design, an accurate exclusive approach that takes the best elements of a touch screen and the best of a remote system and combines them into one intuitive, flexible, and high performance design. Now, why are we making such a big deal about this? The goal of creating an easy to learn, easy to use infotainment system is a challenge that's facing the entire industry. Our solution, validated by hundreds of hours of research, is built entirely around the driving experience and it takes just minutes for customers to learn to comfortably operate. To give you a little more perspective, we asked the system's lead engineer, Ross Miller, how the true touchpad interface fulfills our thinking for a driver-centric experience. Let's take a look. For Acura, the precision-crafted performance entails clear actions, control, as well as well-thought-out design. And so that's all taking place in this new interface. The key point is that it's absolute positioning. What we mean by that is it's a one-to-one -one mapping from the display down to the touchpad. The true touchpad interface is actual centerpiece of the center console design. From focus groups to one-on-one -on -one interviews, visiting their houses and then their cars, and then taking it to the driving simulator, everything has been centered around how we can make this better for the user and better for the driving environment. Now, as good as the system may be in the static setting like the auto show, the real aha moment comes when you're behind the wheel. And we look forward to sharing this experience with you in the weeks and months ahead. And that really brings me to the third and final part of our story today, performance. It starts with our new Acura exclusive platform designed from the ground up as the foundation for a new level of handling precision ride quality, cabin quietness, and much more. There's an all new body design using over 50% high strength steel to help reduce RDX's unibody weight by nearly 20 pounds while outperforming the previous generation in torsional, bending, and ladder rigidity to directly benefit the RDX's handling response and precision. To that, we attached our most sophisticated chassis ever with a fully engineered front suspension, variable ratio steering, a completely new five-link rear suspension, and other key performance technologies. Under the hood, RDX has the most powerful two-liter turbo engine among its key competitors. With 272 horsepower and 280 foot-pounds of torque, providing immediate and powerful acceleration response. 
That's the highest torque output ever for RDX. And in the low RPM range, torque is up 40% over the outgoing V6. We pair that new turbo engine to a segment first 10 speed transmission that takes full advantage of the turbo engine's flat torque curve with a quick and seamless shifts. It's an amazing combination that elevates RDX to an entirely new level of power, comfort, and response. The new powertrain also benefits fuel economy, which will increase over the current model. Finally, there's a next generation super handling all wheel drive with torque vectoring capability. It's something offered just by a few select competitors, but often in their most expensive performance variants. In normal driving, up to 70% of the RDX's turbocharged engine torque is sent to the rear wheels. And to create incredible traction, agility, and cornering prowess, up to 100% of that torque can be sent independently to either rear wheel. Taking handling performance to the next level, our dial-operated integrated dynamic system inspired by the, by the NSX will allow the driver to select from four distinct modes that fine-tune the steering, throttle response, suspension, and more. Altogether, it adds up to a greater performance, higher fuel economy, and the quickest, best handling RDX yet. We asked the team that developed it to talk a little more about the RDX's dynamic performance, and here's what they had to say. This is the best performing RDX. It's got a new two liter turbo engine, 10-speed automatic transmission, and super handling all-wheel drive. I love it. It feels sharp, it feels refined. It just gives me the feedback of the road, but it also has that fun factor. We needed a stiff body and a new suspension to go along with the new powertrain. What if I want to be on a country road and go really fast? You'd want to use our Sport Plus mode. It changes your shift mapping, it changes your throttle position map, um, and then we also change the torque vectoring of the car. That feel, that acceleration, just exhilarating. So I'm getting the best of all worlds, right? Because I'm getting great handling, but I'm also getting a car that I can just jump in and go anywhere with literally at any time. We didn't hold back when we developed this RDX. As a race car driver, I'm always looking for like the feedback from the road and the emotion that driving evokes. This actually made me smile. Like I had a lot of fun driving this all new RDX. So our engineers have pulled out all the stops to deliver on our ideal image of accurate performance in a compact SUV. And several are performance experts in their own right. Acura is a performance brand, and you can see that in every corner of the organization. Riding shotgun in that video was Chad Gilsinger, who not only led the dynamic tuning of RDX, he's a member of our associate-run race team campaigning the NSX GT3 in the IMSA series. And the driver was none other than the incredible Catherine Legg, part of the Michael Shank race team that ended, that carded a second place finish in Daytona in January. We're thrilled to have Catherine here with us today. Would you come with service? Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So tell us, what do you think about the RDX? I love the RDX, as I alluded to in the video. Not many cars these days evoke that emotion. And uh, driving this car, looking at this car, driving it, it just uh, gave me that wow factor. And so I approve. I actually put my order in for one. That's great. I'm going to ask you a tough question in front of everybody here. <laughs> if you had to choose between an NSX and an RDX, what would you take? Oh, that is a loaded question. Um, I'm very fortunate that I get to drive the NSX on the racetrack. So I think as an everyday driver, I would definitely choose the, the RDX. And did you know that the RDX actually has some of the NSX technology? It's kind of trickled down. So I feel like part of my race car is, is in this car also. That's great. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause, Catherine. Again, thank you for being here today and helping take the NSX GT3 and Acura Motorsports to the winner's circle. Good luck the rest of the season. And finally, speaking of pinnacle racing, we're pleased to announce that Acura will return to the Pikes Peak International Hill Climb this year. We'll be campaigning no fewer than four Acuras with the new RDX making the racing debut in the Race to the Clouds. So to sum it all up, 
we're very excited and confident about this all new 2019 RDX. With an all new powertrain, class leading features like ultra wide panor panoramic moon roof, Acura Watch active safety technologies, and the new true touchpad interface, all standard, RDX has a combination of design, packaging, performance, and prestige that marks a turning point for our brand. It's the first in a whole new generation of Acura products. We really appreciate your time and attention this afternoon. Now, after a few quick photos, please join me on stage for a closer look. Thank you very much.